vectors, pixels, pixels, vectors. What are they all about? I'm Rick Yeager, and I'm going to clear things up on this edition of MacMark TV. Pixels versus vectors. Now, you might have a firm grasp on the differences between these two types of graphics, but if you work as a professional in this field, I bet you frequently come across clients that just don't get it. If that's the case, keep watching. I think you're going to like where we're going with this. One of the situations that comes up a lot in my work is when a client has hired me to use an existing logo in something they want me to lay out. This is when they invariably grab the GIF logo off the header of their website and want me to use it in their outdoor signage. Now this might seem like the normal thing to do for some of you, but hopefully what I'm about to show you will give you an idea of why that's not ideal. The word pixel, I'm told, means picture element. Basically, it's a unit of measure for the little bitty blocks that make up the picture. It's a little like Lego. It's actually a lot like Lego. See how the Lego block is made up of these little bumps? Imagine each one of those bumps is a pixel. Okay, I've made our little logo here a star out of Lego, and it looks pretty good. The only problem is these little jaggies here. They look great when you're far away, but when you're close up, they look like a flight of stairs. The real problem comes when you try and make that logo bigger. Look at this. The jaggies don't get any better. They just get bigger. Vector-based images are actually based on mathematical equations. They have billions of these little anchor points that, like fence posts, define the boundaries of a shape. If pixels are like Legos, then vectors are like spirals. Now, if I recreate my star logo with the spirograph, there are no jaggies because it's only five points and five lines. Simple, straight, and clean. And if I make my spirograph bigger, the mathematical equation gets bigger with it. The result is the same simple, straight, and clean logo, only much, 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 much larger. And this is why vectors are the perfect choice for doing your logos. They allow you to think big without looking stupid. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a good pixel. Guys like uh, Burt Monroy, Scott Kelby, and Alex Lindsay, they're masters of the pixel world and they can make them sing. But it's important to note that they also know their way around the vector world. Pixels and vectors are powerful allies, and it's very important for you to know when and how to use each. I'm Rick Yeager, and this has been MacMark TV. Everybody's looking for the new thing going on. Listen very close so you don't go and do it wrong. Do it and in no time alone. Be moving on. There's nothing to it, it's all good. There's nothing to it, it's all good.